Hello, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. All right, good. Hi, how are you? Fine, and how are you? I'm very good, thank you. All right. Teacher, I, I want to apologize because I am I am in the airport picking up my, my husband. Oh, okay. And, and that's why I'm going. Oh, so uh, you will you will only be listening. Yes. Okay, be careful. I will, <laughs> I will try to, to participate, but but I'm here. <laughs> okay, so thank you, thank you, but be careful. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Sue. Yes. All right, let me see one. How was your weekend class? Everything good? Everything good, Preston. Yes, teacher. What did you do? For me, only resting because I test positive for COVID last Saturday. And oh, no. You too? Yeah. Mm. Are you okay, though? Yeah. Uh, actually, I have uh, one week, and I my doctor said tomorrow can we take the test again. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Did you get any any symptoms? No. Uh, only flu and cough. Okay. Fever only one day. What about? Can you smell and taste? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I'm I'm glad you're okay then. Thanks. You know, I think it's necessary. I mean, it's going to happen. Everybody's going to get it. Is this your first time with COVID? Yes. Yes, it's my first time. And I heard uh, that in my job, there it's, uh, are more, more, are more um, people with worker COVID. People. Yeah. Oh, workers. Mm -hmm. In my yeah. work also, uh, uh, many people is with COVID. I think this is out of control now. Mm -hmm. But you know, one thing I've noticed, I don't know if I told you last week, I noticed that a lot of people are being contag uh, contagious, uh, but a lot of people are being infected, but I see that less people are dying. Yes. So I don't know, I guess that's good because before it, it was like people, infected but people are dying yes. so maybe maybe the vaccine works maybe that's what i'm saying because my father uh, got covid and mm -hmm. and and he's fine he's he's okay and i said well thanks god for the vaccine yes. or or this sepa i don't know if the omicron is is like a, a big flu. Mm -hmm. and, did did and you get? It. Did you get your vaccines? Yes. Okay. And good. you? <laughs> yes. All three. Me okay. three. Three. You know, some people believe in vaccines. Some people don't. Some people do. I I I go for logic, <laughs> and. For me, if doctors, the majority of the doctors in the world are using the vaccine, I trust more a doctor than a philosopher. <laughs> because, you know, like all the doctors are using, if, if I see, if I would have seen maybe a case of many, many doctors not using the vaccine, then maybe. But every doctor <laughs> is using the vaccine. So I trust the doctors, in my opinion. My neighbor, my neighbor, I think I think she's 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 not she's not normal. It's an old lady, right? And she has one daughter 
and the daughter mentally she's she's not stable she's um she's mentally sick and uh she has asthma she has everything and the lady the the, the mother she's a doctor and she doesn't want to put vaccines do you know why Because religious. She, no, she hates with a passion Bukele. Really? Imagine, imagine stupidity has no limits. Only because she says that Bukele, she she wants she she thinks that Bukele is trying to control everybody with a chip and blah blah. And I said, oh my God, yes, people like that exist. Mm, can they <laughs> You know, and she's a doctor, but you know what? Um, people tell me that she was in, she's old and she was a guerrilla in her time. So, but, but, oh God. Wow. That's why that's explain his. Yeah. But still she's stupid. I mean, her daughter, her daughter. Yeah. So. I don't know. There's stupidity. Well, so how else was your weekend? Anything new? Uh, I'm sorry, Rafael Garcia, are you married? No, I'm not. Oh, okay. Because if you are, <laughs> enjoy your vacation, like Jenny Quesada. Are, are you still in? Hey, Jenny, did you take the exam? Amen. Yes, I got to Friday. Yes. And, and negative. Oh, good for you. Good. Yeah. Bravo. Hey, Yay. nice. Congratulate. <laughs> um, but what happened? Are you still in quarantine? Are you still in quarantine or you're you're out now? No, I have the the bedroom, uh, the bedroom in, in, in the house, on in the house. Did you hug your children? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I miss you, mommy. <laughs> Good for you. I'm happy. Thank you. Thank but you know what? Forget your vacation for the rest of your life. <laughs> my, my husband told that. Yes. So, mm -hmm. In fact, sometimes I'm so busy that sometimes I say, oh man, I wish I can get COVID. <laughs> so two more weeks of vacation, only me. But no, no, that's stupid. <laughs> All right. Mirna, how are you? Hello. How was your weekend? Um, a little boring. <laughs> Why? I don't know. <sighs> it's vacations. I just sleep. <laughs> oh, that's not boring, man. That's I envy yeah. you. But I miss my friends. Oh yes, you can't see your friends. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, but I, I start today the gym, so. Wait, I'm sorry, you go to the university, right? Yeah, or but school? it's online. I, Everything's I, online, I, universities. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, are all the Maybe, universities online or some universities? It's like semi-press, I don't know how to say, semi-presencial. Semi-presential. Mm -hmm. Yeah, semi-presential. So if I have practice, uh, practice? Mm -hmm. Uh, I have to go to the university, but just for that, class theory is online. Okay. Yeah, I start in San Val. I start San Valentin. And Valentine's Day. Yeah, fa Valentine's Day. <laughs> Ooh. That's my gift. Hey, maybe do you, do you have a boyfriend? No. Maybe that day is is your destiny. <laughs> You start university on Valentine's Day. Maybe that day you will I'm find your Valentine. I'm looking for a boyfriend. <laughs> no, that's good. Don't look for one. It, it will yeah. just appear. Yeah. 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 That's cool, but interesting. All right. David, hi. Anything new in your weekend? Uh, no. I was a little sick on weekend. I, I have uh, a little flu, but only for Saturday and Sunday. Okay. Did you test for COVID? No. No, I didn't. Okay. 
All right. All right. Okay, guys, class, let's start. And I believe we finished with expressing regrets. Remember the, the regrets and describing hypothetical situations? Yes. If I had, if I, yes. Let's see. Hold on, let me find the, the video. I remember someone gave gave me a good example of this. Um, they told me I should have studied more English in the university. Who was it? I think I think it was Malin, no. But anyways, uh, do you see my screen? Yes. 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 Okay. So remember, yes. when we say, when we say, "I should have" in past participle, we are expressing a regret. Yes. I should have studied something different. I should have, for example, my my wife. She's a dentist. And I think every day for the last ten years, she says. I should have studied something different. I should have studied something different. I should have studied something different. She really regrets ha studied um, uh, dentistry. Is there something you regret? Hello, class. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Hello. Hello. Okay. Okay, is there something? Yes, teacher, yes. Thank you. Is there something you regret? In my case, I should have studied more English during my teen year. Okay. Age. Mirna, listen to this because you're still on time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. She's yes. on time. You're 17, you can still do all these things. <laughs> all right? Yes. Nuri, what is something you regret? <laughs> I should have finished my, my university. Okay. You know, now that I am older, I should have listened to my mother. Now, you know what, now I remember everything my mother used to tell me. And I say, yeah, my mom was right. <laughs> I should have listened. Okay, so that was expressing a regret. I should have in the past participle. And you can say negative too. Yes, I shouldn't have lied to you. Imagine you're married and your spouse tells you, I need to tell, imagine, um, David, imagine you're married and your wife tells you, no, no, I think it's more for a man. Um, Galena. Oh, no, she's driving. Yes, teacher, no, oh. tell me, tell me. Imagine, imagine, example, okay? Imagine your husband tells you right now, Galena, yes. I have to tell you something. What, baby? I have a son. Yes. <laughs> but but before 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 <laughs> no yeah, but another one. It, it was a son, but before he met you. Yes. But he never told you. I, I don't know. I'm okay. going to ask many things. As a, yes, and at the end do you I, know or just you uh -huh. did you know? He says yes. And then, you know, you can tell them, you shouldn't have kept that secret from me. Mm -hmm. See, that's a negative. You shouldn't yes. have kept that you secret from have. me. Mm -hmm. All because I thought that you, it's a big, big difference. Yes. Okay, so let's continue. Let's do the, the, the exercise. 
Ooh. Okay, it says, read each, each instructions, rearrange the regret or hypothetical situation. Remember what is the hypothetical situation? How do we use a hypothetical situation? Is not necessarily a fact. Okay, good. Hold on. Hold on. Where's the hypothetical? Okay, good. So that's the hypothetical situation. If I had, so like you said, it never happened. It maybe never happened. So remember how the hypothetical situation goes. If the subject, if I, if he, if she, if we had the past participle, the subject, I could and I would. Yes. If I had studied French, if I had studied French, it's like you said, it would be like compliment because after the past participle, you need the compliment. I would have lived in France or I would have taught in France, a teacher in France. Okay, let's do the exercise. Okay, it says, instructions, read each statement, rearrange the regret or hypothetical situations given in order to complete the information. No period is necessary, but remember capital letters. Okay, so if I listen to my parents, Decisions I pragmatically would have made have what? I will, I will have made. I, I will, will have, have made. I will have made pragmatic more pragmatic decisions. More pragmatic, more pragmatic decisions. I would have made more pragmatic, pragmatic decisions. decisions. Decision. Pragmatic. Decisions, right? Yes. All right. What is pragmatic decisions? Good question. Who can answer that? Uh -huh, class, what is pragmatic? In Spanish, I think it's pragmatic or what what is it? <laughs> but I, I don't know. I, I don't know the meaning in Spanish. Se refiere a la práctica, la ejecución o realización de acciones, no la teoría o la recuperación. So a pragmatic decision is do it. Actions, right? Yes. It's like when, when you get married, will you marry me? Yes. That's a, yeah. And if you get married, <laughs> it's a pragmatic decision because it was, you executed your decision. Um, I'm sorry for this, but this is triste realidad, but this is an example, abortion. Sometimes when women decide to abort, it's a pragmatic decision because they do it. Yes? So, como dice aquí, la ejecución o realización de la acción. So they go with the decision. No a la teoría. Or like, yeah, those are pragmatic, drastical decisions. Okay, number two, if I've been more active, overweight, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be overweight. I wouldn't be overweight. If I've been more ambitious, God, I could have promotion. What do you think that is? I could have gotten 
A promotion. A promotion. Good. If I studied harder in school, I could have learned I could a have learned lot of more. A lot more. If I save money, broke now, be I. What do you think this is? I wouldn't be mm -hmm. as broke as I am now. Wow, well, my keyboard me la cambiaron otra vez. I wouldn't be as broke. Mm -hmm. Do you know as the expression? Do you know the expression broke? With as many. Yeah. Yes, I'm yes. broke. <laughs> Let's submit. Why is this wrong? Let's show the answer. I wouldn't be as broke as I am now. So what's wrong? As broke. I wouldn't be as broke. I wouldn't be as broke as I am now. Oh. Okay. Why is this wrong? I failed the same question. I don't know if the, the platform is one. Cool. I had the same trouble here with mm -hmm. this NS. I, I copied paste. Let's see now. <laughs> hey, good. I don't know what the problem was, but <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> yes. Um, let me tell you one thing. Don't worry about the platform. The platform never works. Man, for like two years now, there's always problems with the platform. So um, that's one thing. Number two is that um, sometimes more than one answer is possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so don't feel bad. And number three, sometimes the platform has mistakes. Yes, it is. Uh, yeah, so don't worry. Tell me and we'll correct it. Uh oh, knowledge check. Okay, let's watch this video. Pronunciation, reduction of have and been. All right, let's listen to the lady to the difference. I can hear you. Sorry. Hi, to wrap up this section, we want you to work on your pronunciation. Please listen and practice. Notice how have and been are reduced in these sentences. I should have been less selfish when I was younger. If I'd been more ambitious, I could have gotten a promotion. You may complete these sentences and practice them in class. Pay attention to the reduced form of have and been. Okay, class, let me tell you a little secret. Or no, no, it's not a secret. It's an advice. It's an advice, actually. Um, I would actually recommend you to say complete. If I have been because if they're telling you, I would only recommend you to use contractions when you feel comfortable speaking English. You know why? 
because then you will always say, if I've been, if I've been, if I've been, y no se oye. And it's, it's if I've been, but nobody really pronounces I've been. So everybody says this, oh, if I've been, if I've been a good student, I, I would have, you know, et cetera. And no, it's not if I've been, no, if I have been, or the contraction is if I've been. So I would actually really recommend you to use the complete form. All right. Okay. Let's do a listening exercise. Okay, so let's listen to people describe their regrets. Choose the regret for each person. So we're going to listen to Barbara, Alex, and G. Shun. Page 76. Can you hear? Exercise 11. Yes. Listening. Yes. Okay. Regrets. Yes. Part A. Listen to people describe their regrets. Complete the chart. 1. Barbara. I always regret that I didn't take typing in high school. I was stupid, really. Once I got to college, I discovered I had to type all my assignments and I sort of taught myself how to do it. But I can't type half as well as friends of mine who took it in high school. It takes me twice as long to type anything as it takes them. 2. Alex I should never have stopped exercising. It's the dumbest thing I've ever done. I've been trying to lose weight for the last year and a half, and it's really difficult. I guess I was just like everyone else at my age. I thought I would be thin forever, and I ate junk food all the time. It was okay then because I was playing tennis, hockey, and soccer. Then, after college, I got busy and quit playing sports. But now I'm determined to join a gym because I know I can't get healthy by just dieting. Besides, I love potato chips. 3. Yishan If I'd had a choice, I would have learned to play the guitar when I was a kid. My parents made me study the piano, and I only studied classical music. I love the piano, but it's not very practical. I mean, you can't take a piano with you to a party. But I love it at a party when someone brings a guitar, and they can play songs, and everyone sings along. I wish I could do that. Page 76, Exercise 11, Part B. Listen again. What effect have the regrets had on each person's life? 1. Barbara. I always regret that I didn't take typing in high school. I was stupid, really. Once I got to college, I discovered I had to type all my assignments, and I sort of taught myself how to do it. But I can't type half as well as friends of mine who took it in high school. It takes me twice as long to type anything as it takes them. 2. Alex I should never have stopped exercising. It's the dumbest thing I've ever done. I've been trying to lose weight for the last year and a half and it's really difficult. I guess I was just like everyone else at my age. I thought I would be thin forever, and I ate junk food all the time. It was okay then because I was playing tennis, hockey, and soccer. Then, after college, I got busy and quit playing sports. But now I'm determined to join a gym because I know I can't get healthy by just dieting. Besides, I love potato chips. 3. Yishan If I'd had a choice, I would have learned to play the guitar when I was a kid. My parents made me study the piano, and I only studied classical music. I love the piano, but it's not very practical. I mean, you can't take a piano with you to a party. But I love it at a party when someone brings a guitar, and they can play songs, and everyone sings along. I wish I could do that. The program continues on the next CD. All right, so Barbara, what is her regret? 
you didn't take typing class, class, class in high school? Yes. Uh, yes, Mirna Sanabria, believe it or not, before there were typing classes. What? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there was a time, there was a time that there was typing classes. I think it was mechanographia, yeah. no, class? Yes. Right. Yes. Correct. Yes, <laughs> with a typing machine. Yeah. Like, tick, 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 yeah. Looking. Mm -hmm. oh. yeah, your generation will never know that, Mirna. No. <laughs> My mom take it. Oh, yes. Yeah, there was, a, there was a, like a lot of classes that you will never take. Um, I learned a teacher that I studied, secretary. Oh yeah. Kids today but learn how to that, type but with their thumbs on texting. <laughs> but I think that that's very cool because uh, my generation, I don't know, like it's not very fast in the computer. No. Yes and no, but um, I think that your generation, because you are born with all the software for you is something natural. Like my generation, we have to learn, uh, we had to learn everything. I'll give an example. My son is five. And when I see him use a tablet, it's amazing like how he uses, you know, and I had to learn. <laughs> I took like a moment to learn how to use a tablet or a computer or, or software. So yeah, you're right though, your generation maybe is a little bit slower in typing, but they're faster in other things, in texting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, what is Alex regret? It's tough. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough. He stopped exercising. Good. What about Yishun's I regret? He didn't learn to play. He didn't learn to play. Didn't learn to play the guitar. She didn't learn to play guitar as a kid. All right, good. Nice. All right, let's go to the next. All right, we're in section two now. Let's look at the video. Oh, look, she looks nice in black, no? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's that color. Yeah, I like the gothic good look. Okay, let's listen to her now. Ready for our next intro video? Watch it and take notes. Hi, this is Jacob with Campus TV. Today we're at Choice Cafe on University Drive. I'm talking to the owner, Lily Chen. Choice Cafe opened two years ago. Since then, students have been lining up for coffee and food. Why is Choice Cafe so successful? Let's find out. Thank you for agreeing to speak with me today. Choice Cafe is popular on campus. Yes, the cafe is doing very well. What's the secret to your success? I've been very lucky. And I have great customers but it is hard. I think there are several reasons we do so well. We're popular because of our location, of course. For a cafe to succeed, it can't be off the beaten path. It needs to be where people can find it. You don't have to walk far. It's convenient, <laughs> right next to campus. But that can't be the only reason. After all, Central Cafe closed last year and it was just one block away from campus. Did Choice put Central Cafe out of business? Yes and no. We were definitely in competition with each other, but Central Cafe didn't have comfortable seats. In order for a cafe to attract customers, it should have comfortable chairs. Our cafe is famous for its cozy atmosphere. Look at those chairs. The people can come here to relax, drink their tea or coffee, and study or read. Do you encourage people to stay a long time? I absolutely do encourage people to stay. I think that's the reason why they keep coming back. They can read, do homework, meet their friends. And during this time, they drink two or three cups of coffee and have a pastry. 
What about the food? Our food is made here, fresh every morning. We have a strong takeout business. People order food to take home or to eat outside. Outside? Y you mean on the grass, on campus? Anywhere. We do have tables outside too, but people do eat on campus. It's really pretty there. But it's nice to sit inside too. The atmosphere is great here. Talk about that for a minute. The lights, the music? Music is key to a cafe success. You need to make sure you have good music. I'm not an expert. I mean, I don't know much about music. But people who work here are students. They're tuned in. They know what's popular. So I let them choose the music. And people like it. Yes. And since I want to encourage people to meet their friends here, chat, read, so on, I make sure the music's not too loud. I mean, we can hear each other just fine, right? Right. Well, Lily, thank you. I've really enjoyed learning more about what makes Choice a successful cafe. You're welcome, Jacob. Come anytime. For Campus TV, this is Jacob signing off. Okay, so it was a theme. By the end of this lesson, participants will understand the use of infinitive clauses to describe a purpose. What is a clause, remember? A group of words that have subjects. All right, good, thank you. And verb, I don't know. A verb, a subject and a verb, yeah. yes. And what is an infinitive? Uh, For example, what is the infinitive of go? To go. To go. To go. Yes, to go. Uh -huh. Eat, to eat. To eat. Drink, to drink. All right, so let's do it. So here, describing a purpose. Hi, for you to be fluent in English, you need to keep up with all the lessons. So stay and learn how to describe purpose using infinitive clauses. Describing purpose. Infinitive clauses. To run a popular internet cafe, it's a good idea to have late opening hours. To establish a trendy restaurant, it's important to have fashionable servers. In order to establish a trendy restaurant, it's important to have fashionable servers. Infinitive clauses with four. For an athletic center to be profitable, it needs to have modern exercise equipment. For a shopping mall to succeed, it has to have a convenient location. In order for a shopping mall to succeed, it has to have a convenient location. To describe purpose, we may do so by using different types of infinitive clauses. We may use the infinitive clause to plus verb. For example, to succeed in business, you have to. Notice we began our sentence using to, followed by the verb succeed. Or we may use in order plus infinitive. Example, in order to succeed in business, you have to. We may add in order, but it's optional. If we omit it, the structure stays the same. The other way to describe purpose is by using infinitive clause with for. For plus noun plus infinitive. For a business to succeed, it has to. Or in order plus for plus noun plus infinitive. In order for a business to succeed, it has to. Again, we may use in order, but it is optional. The structure stays the same if we omit it. Ready? Look at the picture of a coffee shop. For it to stay popular, what three things should be done? Type your suggestions on our discussion box.
I'm sorry, I am on mute. <laughs> sorry, Sonia Perez, are you there? Yes. Okay, so help me. Sonia, to get, you, you finish, you, you tell me the answer using an infinitive. To get a Dewey in El Salvador, what do I yes. need? Or, or what's the procedure? Sorry? To get a Dewey in El Salvador. Imagine I am Mexican and I say, hey, Sonia, how do I get it? No, I'm joking. Sonia, how do I get a Dewey in El Salvador? What I need. Or okay, Sonia, I, I am from Mexico. In this moment, I am from Mexico. I want a Dewey in El Salvador. What do I need to get a Dewey in El Salvador? Is it easy? Do I just go to the Dewey Centro? Hey, I want a Dewey and they give it to me? No, if you are Mexican, I believe you can okay. get. Okay, so tell me, what, what do I need to get a Dewey? For the Salvadorian? Okay, who can help her? Who can help Sonia or who understands the situation? Me, me teacher, me. Okay, Kalena. You had to go uh, to the bank and pay $10. $10. Uh, they give you a receipt for the Dewey. And you have to get a- but, but remember, I'm Mexican. Oh, you, you really are Mexican, okay. No, 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 Exam to... in my example, I am you Mexican. Have, you have... You have to, to, to be the resident here and, oh, okay, and show good. the resident, the temporary resident or, or whatever, the work resident or whatever you have. And uh, I think, I think you don't, you're going to have a Dewey. Okay, uh, okay, good. So in this case, that's the infinitive. You have to be a resident. Okay, yes. Okay, a resident or a citizen? I don't know. A resident? I think it's citizen. Oh, okay. citizen. <laughs> Salió más complicado lo que pensé. Yes. <laughs> okay, but good. <laughs> I thought do you, you, you just want to know how to do it. <laughs> no, no, no. But you know that in, in situations like that, that's how you express a purpose using an infinitive. Okay. Oh, no, so, but para dar direcciones, man. Hey, how do I go to San Miguel? Okay, you need to go. You need to take the litoral. You see, I said, need to take. There's an infinitive. All right, so let me go back to Sonia. Sonia, I want to make pupusas in my house on the weekend. What do I need to buy? You need to buy a uh, uh, chicharron. Pork. Yes, you need to buy uh, beans. You need to buy cheese. All right, good. Y masa, how do you say masa? Maseca. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, la maseca um, se hace masa. How do you say masa in English? Do you know? I, I don't think know. I don't know. Dough. Yes, see, it's a dough. dough. Like, for example, like donut, dough. Dough. D-O-U-G-H, dough. Dough. So, Later in the future, you will explain to me, ah, oh, to make a pupusa, you need dough and you put the pork, the cheese and the beans inside the dough or you stuff, as he says, a stuff, you make a ball, you palm and you put on the grill. Pero eso es para algún futuro. Jenny. Tell me. How do I make a Cuba Libre? Um, I need to buy... No, you rum. need to buy. 
No, listen to my question, Jenny. Mm -hmm. How do I make a Cuba Libre? Not how do you make a Cuba Libre? How do I make a Cuba Libre? Mm. You need to buy, repeat. Mm -hmm. I? No, you. Oh. You. Yes. You need to buy rum, coke, ice, and I don't remember that. Okay, good. No, that's it. <laughs> you need to buy, you need to mix. Good, no problem. Excellent. Let me see, Nuri. How are you, Nuri? I'm fine. Thank you, teacher. Nuri. To go to the United States, what? Oh, no, I'm sorry. What, oh, yeah. I need to go to the United States. What do I need? Mm, what do you need? Oh. Yeah, so for example, I, I, I go to the airport and I say, hey, one ticket to California, please. Is it easy like that? Or is there something special I need? Yeah. Something <laughs> essential. <laughs> no, Nuri, no necesito visa, no necesito pasaporte, nada. Uh, okay. come on class work with me help me come on yeah so listen i need okay. i want to go to the united states what do i need ah okay you need to obtain your visa exactly good and then you have to buy a ticket all right good okay good but that's and the most important thing you need to have a visa or you need yeah. to get a visa very good thank you and you have to have your passport. And you have you need to have or you have to have a passport. Very good. But you see, that's the infinitive. You need the, the infinitive, the to and the verb and the clause. Tatiana, are you there? Yes. Tatiana, where do you live? I live in Apopa. And a popa. I'm sorry, do you work or study? I work. Okay, where do you work? Atento. Okay, do you work in home or in, in Atento? Oh, I remember you're an outsource. Um, I'm sorry? At home. You work at home. Oh, okay. What do you need to have at home to work? I need a computer. I need to have a computer. Computer and... Um, no, but I need a computer. No, I need to have, because we're using infinitive. I need to have a computer. Mm -hmm. Um, desk. Okay. So you need to have a workstation, no? Like a, a decent workstation. Yes, no? Okay, Rafael, hi. You have COVID, right? Yes. What did the doctor tell you that you need to do? Um, I need to take uh, a lot of medicines and to, to Oh, take, yes, it's a cocktail of medicines. Yeah. And to take uh, a rest, a rest. Yes. And you need to stay in quarantine. Yeah. Just to stay home. That's the most important thing. David Hernandez, hi. Hi. You are a computer programmer, I think, right? Yes, yes, I'm a programmer. Did you graduate in the university? Yes, yes, I how, did. How many subjects do you need to, to pass to be a computer programmer? I need to pass 47, uh, 47 subjects. Subjects, uh-huh. 
Okay, tell me the 47. No, I'm, uh, joking. I'm joking. No, it's a joke. <laughs> I don't remember exactly the, the name of, of, yeah. of all that. 47. Wow. Uh -huh, 47. Wow. 47. At, at, the, at the end of the career, I need to, to pass a, a final course. Um, and there are a lot, uh, another uh, six course more. Oh, man. Is it difficult? Uh, no, it's like a seminar. Um, uh, you have to do um, uh, laboratories at the at the majority of the time. Oh, okay, okay, good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, Maylin, hi. Hi. How are you, Maylin? Good evening. I'm good. And you? I'm okay too. Thank you, Maylin. I need to get my my vaccine shot. I oh, know it's here. What do I need to do? You need, uh, you do it and- Wait, wait, you need to have a Dewey? You need to have a Dewey and you need to, I don't know, CETA, uh, an internet? A good appointment. appointment. You need to create your appointment. You need to internet. make an appointment. You need to make an appointment on the internet. And when your appointment is okay, um, you need to go at the Hospital Salvador del Mundo. Okay, good. All right, good. Hospital Salvador del Mundo. Yeah, I think it's Salvador del Mundo. I don't no, know. it's Hospital El Salvador. It's, I think Salvador it is. Hospital. It's, oh, yeah. <laughs> I prefer to go to La Gran Vía because it's a drive through In Hospital El Salvador, there's no parking. Mm. You need to no, no, take an Uber. No, you take a, a micro bus in Multiplaza or La Gran Vía and they... Um, they take you? Uh-huh, take you to the oh. hospital. Oh, cool, nice. Mm -hmm. Mirna, hi. Me? Yes, hi Mirna. The class, hi. the class, we're going to have a party Saturday night. Really? Okay, yes, in the bar. <laughs> you had to invite me. Wait, hold on, what bar? Give me a name of a bar. Republic. No. no, but that's- I have, I have 17. Yeah, it's a boy, it's a boy. It's going to be in a bar, okay, Mirna? So um, yeah. can you come? Yeah. No, you can't. Yeah, but yeah, but- No, only, no, no. Yeah, it's only if uh, it's, hi, it's when 21 of uh, February 21. Because February twenty is my birthday, and okay, I okay. But, but 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 next Saturday is not February, so you can't come. Ah, yeah. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I can go. I can't. I can't. Yeah, I can't. Why I'm not? Silly. Because I'm not. I'm in her age. And so. What? No, you don't say I'm a minor age. I am underage. But okay, quiero que me diga un infinitive. Because I need to be over 18. Okay, because I need to be... A, I need to... Be? Be 18 years old. Over 18. Uh -huh. 18 or over? Okay, 18 and over age. Yeah. Class, is it 18 or 21? 18. 18. Okay. In United States is 21. Twenty one. Yeah. Who sounds like a Android? Kalena? Kalena. Uh, yeah. Kalena, you're losing. You sound like an I Android. I am sorry. Okay, there you go. I am sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. Are, are, you, are, are you still in the airport? Okay, we lost Flying Kalena maybe. again. <laughs> I think Kalena is actually 
She's in the plane. <laughs> She's in the airplane, I think. Yeah, on the road. No, on the road. <laughs> on are, the you road. Still, are you still going to the airport or are you coming from the airport? No, I'm coming to the airport I'm, on the I'm road. No, so you're coming from the airport. Yes. When we start, I I I I was going. I was in Yes, when we started, I was going to the airport. Now I am coming from the airport. From the airport. Good. Yes. Did you stop in Oloquita? No, no, no. We stop in in Wendy's. Oh my We're going God. to stop in Wendy's. Oloquita <laughs> is mandatory. What That's happened to the tradition, man? Yeah. Bad Salvadorian. Yes, bad Salvadorian. <laughs> Yeah, that's a new one. I never, there's a Wendy's. Los Proceres Boulevard. Oh, yeah. The nearest. Uh -huh. The nearest. All right, cool. So that, that's, that's how you say. Yeah, Kalena, I, I think I think we lost you. you. Okay, so that's how you say an infinitive clause. Remember, to do this, to go there, um, to, to go... Oh, I don't know. I, I think to it, I this I don't know, but I think to enter in El Salvador, you need to be vaccinated, no? Right now, no. Right now. No. Oh, you no. don't. You, you don't have to be. No, you only no. have to only the test. Yeah, yeah, the test. Oh yes, you need to present a test. Yeah. Okay, but you see, that's an infinitive. Okay, so to enter El Salvador, you need to present the. Test. The, test COVID. the COVID test. The COVID test. Okay, good. You see, that, that's how, that's how, um, imagine I say, hey, David, where do you work? What is the name of your call center? Web help. Web help. Web help. Web, web help. Wait, wait. Web help. Help. Uh huh. The user. Okay, web, web help. help. Oh, that's that's cool. It's a it's a call center. And what do you need to work there? Uh, you, you need, need to know uh, to speak English or Spanish or Portuguese. What if you what if you speak Spanish, English, and Portuguese? What? Sorry. What if you speak? What if you? I have a friend who's very good. He's perfect English, Spanish, and Portuguese. Uh -huh. I I can to refer to the human resources to to make a, a an appointment. A, uh -huh, an appointment or good. interview. Good. You see, ese es un tipo que ella donde trabajas en tal lugar. Hey, y ahí que se necesita para entrar. That's an infinitive with a preposition. Uh, I'm sorry, with a purpose. Like to work in web help, you need to speak English. Spanish and Portuguese, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, because in Spanish because Spanish. we have we have uh like a like a client uh to Volaris Avianca oh, okay. and and they need a Spanish agent. Oh okay. So, okay, so class, so Mirna can't go Saturday night, remember, because she needs to be 18. <laughs> she needs to be 18. And thank you, Nuri. I, if I go to the United States, I need to have a visa. Thank you. <laughs> and um, Jenny Quesada, what do you need to, to take the COVID test? What do you need to do? I need to go to the laboratory. Okay, good. Laboratorio. Mire, una cosa en inglés como en español con nosotros decimos, hay que fíjate que para ir ahí se necesita el C no tiene género. Para para hacer pupusas se necesita masa, esto y esto y esto. Como el C no existe en inglés, en inglés siempre se dice you. 
Orit, no. No, más que todo no. you. Uh -huh. Ok. Ajá. Entonces, literalmente, es para hacer pupusas, tú necesitas. Pero eso ahí queremos decir, se necesita. Uh -huh. So, for in this case, uh, to take the COVID test, you need to go to a laboratory. Yes. You know, I, I haven't taken the test, but my son, he took the test one time. Porque en su kinder eh, hubo un caso. Oh man, yo vomité. I vomited because I saw my son crying. <laughs> it was ugly. No soporté ver a mi hijo llorar. O sea que en vez de atender al niño, los doctores me estaban atendiendo a mí. It was. Es lo más cerca que he el, el examen de COVID. El... <laughs> Yes, I am. I am a he chicken. did it? Yes. My son was four. And no, papá, no. No, ay, no, me veas, no me veas, no me veas. <laughs> yes. También no aguanté las inyecciones cuando era bebé que lo tenían que, no aguanté. Me salí. <laughs> so, no sabía que era así yo hasta que estaba así. So, You need to be strong. You need to be strong. Yes. Me too. You too, Nuri? Uh, I was crying. Oh, man, <laughs> I cried. No, no, no. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, class. Thank you very much. I will see you tomorrow, okay? Good night. Okay, okay good night. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, teacher. teacher. Good night. Thank you. Remember, good night. You, need, uh, you need to rest, Rafael. <laughs> yeah. yeah Tomorrow I will take the test. Okay. Good luck. Good luck. Thanks. Bye bye. 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 Take care.